thinking a little more about this word heaven, it became thought of as the hereafter, an afterlife. The Israelite nation didn't think of it that way. There was no conception of afterlife. There was, there were higher realms as Jacob saw there was a ladder up and into heaven and angels ascending and descending on the ladder. So there's some acknowledgement of higher realms. But the experience of spirituality was something immediate and real. And for sure, that is what Jesus brought. Something immediate. Can you imagine him saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand? And John said that before him, John the Baptist. But can you imagine the sense of immediacy of that statement? Right? The, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Um, the excitement of something that is right here. It's right here. So how do we speak with words that shatter all the blur and fuzz of religiosity, which postpones joy, postpones a knowing of reality till you die. What a bet that is. So that for us here and now, it takes something radical, a radical step by us, each of us, to make it real in our life and in what we share together. How do we conjure in our own awareness reality? How do we, whatever you want to call it, dig deep, open wide, so that our words, the, the sense of them, the literal sense of them, carries a meaning that is spiritual in nature. But not only that, we have to tap into the vibration of our knowing and invest our words with that vibration for them to have any impact in the world. Saying things that are simply intellectually true in some way doesn't really quite get us there. We have to be knowing something and invest our words with that, with that knowing. And then say those words to each other. I'd say those words are words of urgency, are they not? Kingdom of heaven is at hand. Don't you, can't you feel it? Can't, don't you know it? Aren't we knowing that together? We are creators here. There's something for us to do together, to create together. That is our nature. And when I say create, I don't mean just build. I don't mean just paint a picture. There is so much to be created by us at so many levels. There's a culture, there's a consciousness to create, if you will, to allow to be born. Jesus said explicitly he wasn't here to throw out the law. But there is something to happen which goes well beyond obeying law, even spiritual law to harmonizing with it, and then being one with it, and then being an expression of it. I'm not here to just obey the law, harmonize with the law. No, the, the law of creation is me. That is what allows me to create. It is the creator coming through me that brings what has to be loved and responded to for creation to happen. We have that, what, opportunity? 
but how's it going to happen to to bring that positive creative impulse that's rooted in the highest love what does it take for you and i to actually tap into that so deeply, to know it so intimately, to have it become so real for us that we we become a living, positive expression of it in the world. It does seem to me there's a digging deep and all that, yes? A dig, dig, digging deep in the sense that we're living from the deepest place within ourselves. We're living from that creative urge in us that we have not turned off, that will not stop, that wants to live in the world, that wants to be, that wants to create, that wants to build the house of God in the world as it is. That house has a physical existence. We look at nature. It's like, can't can't miss it, right? Go up in the Rocky Mountains, look across the valley, see all the wildlife, and it's like, wow, this is the house of God. And yet it's more than something physical. For us, it is consciousness. It's the substance of consciousness, the substance of culture that we share together. We're here. no matter how fully we've awoken to it or not, but to share that with other people, to know it, to build it. The city on a hill is not just skyscrapers. The city on the hill, how did he say it? A city that's set on a hill cannot be hid. But that city isn't just skyscrapers, it's consciousness culture, it's knowledge, the knowledge that you and I share. But for you and I to share the, share the knowledge of the house of God, of the creator, to share that knowledge, we have to express it. We have to put it out there. So you know that love you have deep down inside? Got to get it outside. Got to touch it way deep, deep down inside in the, in the depth of your own soul and find a way to get it outside so that the person next to you can feel it from you. And when they do, it's life changing. And then as they share that themselves, you, you or that person are in the business of creating the house of God, the consciousness of God, the mansions of God the mansions of the creator, which are mansions of consciousness that we get to share together on earth, on earth.